Hey guys, how's it going? So yesterday I talked a little bit about um, my routes. So today I'll start with uh, a few stories. Now, I guess we'll start with, well, the Monday route. Now, not much happened with uh, the Monday route. I used to work with a guy who I will name, uh, who I will name Moses. Now, you know, this is just a random ass name that I just came up on the fly. So, you know, I work with uh, Moses, and uh, he and I were, um, we worked the Monday route and the, uh, and the Tuesday route. But, um, unfortunately, I had to get him fired. Now, I had no intention to get to get him fired. He was actually really, really cool. We'd mess around a few times, but <clears throat> he was a very, very good, good, um, you know, helper. So, me and him pretty much worked really well together. So, unfortunately. Unfortunately, uh, one day, he had bought a, I want to say an energy drink that had alcohol in it, and um, so he got drunk and just passed out. This was still while I was kind of learning on my own, like learning where to kind of go. And he was uh, one of the ones that knew the Monday and, and Tuesday route very, very well. So he would usually point me in the direction, hey, let's go, uh, go in here, turn right, so on and so forth. He would be the one to just usually help me out on the route. And I'd usually just follow his his uh, his pointing while he'd, he'd go or... Either way, so <clears throat> so it, it was uh, it was still very uh, it was it was pretty hard when I was just uh, sitting here telling him, "Hey, Moses, you got to wake up. You got to you got to get working. You got to help me out, buddy." I can't, you know, I can't do this on my own. <clears throat> so, he ends up passing out. And, um, I end up just calling, calling my manager. And, um, the guy that I named yesterday, what was his name again? I'll name him Donathan, my mentor, Donathan. <clears throat> Um, uh, my mentor, uh, I, I called him. Yeah, I called him first, I think. Yeah, I called him and, um, I told him what was going on. I told him, hey, Moses is passed out. I have no idea what to do. I don't know where to go. I have no idea where the heck I am. I'm all the way in, uh, in Aug uh, on, uh, on the other side of August or at this one, like I was pretty close to where this campsite was. I was next to uh, a gas station and a Dollar General. So that's where I was. I was next to a campsite, uh, a Dollar General and a gas station outside of uh, August. So, I call Donathan and I tell him, hey, Moses has passed out. He, 
He had this energy drink. Um, I don't exactly know what's going on. So what, what, what do I do? So he gave me the number to call um, one of the driver managers, I guess you call it over there, which I will name um, Zach. So I call Zach up and I tell him, hey, Moses had this energy drink. He got drunk and he's passed out. He's, he's legit. He's passed out. I have no idea what to do. He's just, he's drunk. He's passed out. What do I do? Then I had to call my manager. I call my manager. Tell her the exact same story that I've been telling Donathan and Zach. <clears throat> I tell her, I look, I have no idea where to go. Maybe if I uh, recognized a street, I would have, um, I would know where to go. But at the moment, I just don't. I don't know because my uh, my uh, routes are all messed up. Usually, Moses is the one to um, tell me where to go, so I have no idea where to go. It turns out I took a wrong turn uh, at this end of a road that. I went right towards the Dollar General and gas station when I sh really should have gone left. So she got me turned around going the correct way, and I eventually recognized the area and uh, started basically doing the route on my own. Since I kind of knew where I was going at this point, I started telling her, all right, well, here's, here's where I am. I'm going to start, or I guess I'll just start doing this on my own. And keep in mind, I was in a rear loader. So I had to get out, get the can, put uh, dump the trash, put the can back, and then get back in, drive up to the next can, do the same thing. And I had to do that for pretty much the rest of the day. And also keep in mind that he was passed out since... Um, he, he passed out at around noon. So I would say we were pretty much uh, halfway done with, uh, with the route. And we were on track to getting done at around 3 or 4 p.m. So it was, it was going to be a pretty good day until he passed out. <clears throat> and we didn't even hit the biggest area, which takes about a good uh, a good two hours to do and then we'd be almost done so you know after that um, she and another manager um, called me and said what street are you on stay there we're coming to you because they were pretty much almost there at that point uh, I told her where I was and I stayed put. I got out of the truck, waved her down, and uh, they pretty much got him and uh, released him at that point. They took him back to the uh, uh, the dump and told him to go home. I want to say about a day or two later, they uh, ended up releasing him uh, since it was a report that they had to or since they had to report it to uh, corporate or whatever. So, you know, I, I felt very, very bad. Um, you know, I was, I was just telling him, hey, look, dude, I'm sorry that you left me with no other choice. You know, could have been worse. He probably could have been, uh, he, he could have been throwing up in his sleep or doing God, God knows what. And, uh, I don't know. I, I like to think that I may have saved his life, but, uh, so I, I really don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know what he's doing, um, but, you know, it's just whatever. 
And it just so happens that he lives on the Tuesday route. So I'll probably tell you guys a little bit about the Tuesday route. But I think that's one of the uh, one of the big stories that I've had to go through on um, on the Monday route. So that's probably the only other story. <clears throat> they did end up putting me in a side loader because they thought, oh, well, um, you know, this is an easy route to do in a side loader. And I'm just sitting here like, are you fucking kidding me? With a helper, I get done at 3 or 4 p.m. PM, and you honestly think I can get done with this route and a side loader? I was I was very very upset. This was like during um, during my last month too, and I got very very furious almost every time they put me in a side loader. Um, so you know it was something I had to just deal with, and then eventually. Like, in my last um, three weeks, they finally put me with somebody, and I was already telling him, hey, I think I'm going to, I, I'm probably going to leave at the end of the, of the month, because they're already threatening to uh, release me next month, so I'm probably going to leave. I don't know what, what I'm going to do. Uh, I, I'm, I'm already uh, calling the company that I work at now. Um, I, I was planning on calling them and, uh, or actually, no, I had already called them and we're already doing something to set me up for, uh, basically getting hired on. <clears throat> so still, you know, at the end of the day, whatever. And he was, he was a very, very cool person, too. I'll name him. Um, not to be racist. And he, he, he was a Mexican. Well, I want to say Mexican. He, he, looked, he looked Mexican. He looked the part. But I'm not being racist in any way. So I'll name him. I'll name, I'll name him John. Or, yeah, John. I'll name him John. Uh, but he he was a little he was a uh, little Mexican dude, and I, and I think I still have his number. But um, you know, me and him became friends. I would I would say friends, but we pretty much hit it off uh, as soon as we met. Uh, he was uh, another uh, another guy being mentored by my mentor, Donathan. So basically, we got set up together to like do my route and he was basically just going to uh, help me on my route. I would drive some, he would drive some. Uh, we pretty much switched back and forth from being on the back and it was pretty enjoyable. At least I had some kind of something to do. I was really enjoying it for a little bit. Uh, but I'm just sitting here like, man, uh, I'm, I'm almost done. So I might as well enjoy the, the <laughs> whatever's left. Um, but yeah, they they ended up putting me in a freaking side loader thinking that I would get done, you know, easier. And it would be like 3, 4 p.m. by the time I was hitting the, um, the big middle area that had like a lot of houses like spread out and like cans going this way and that way and everywhere in this uh, in this one general area. So at around... 2, 3 p.m., I was always calling my manager, telling her, hey, I'm not going to make it. I'm I'm going to be dumping in probably another hour uh, since I'm in a freaking side loader. I'm going to have to go all the way back and dump and then come all the way back just to finish off, and I'm not going to finish. So what am I going to do? And it'd usually be the same. It, it'd be like, it would be one of a few things. It'd be either, oh, come on, you can do it. Just collect as much as you can, and you can collect the rest tomorrow. Tomorrow. On a freaking long-ass Tuesday route that, you know, is going to be, it's literally going to take 
freaking forever to begin with. So I had to collect the rest of that and then do my Tuesday route, which would... It's just, it's just dumb. Or she would attempt to get somebody, I would say attempt more like, whatever, he can get it. Or um, I would call my mentor, Donathan, after I'd call my manager and tell him, hey, look, I'm not going to finish. Can you help me out, dude? And I'd say six Six to seven times out of ten, he would. Because he would either have nothing else to do, or he was finishing up another route. Um, or if he's not, then he's not, and literally be nothing else that I can do. He would, he would actually be the only one to attempt to contact somebody uh, like... Um, What's his name? Uh, camera that I named yesterday. Um, since he was picking up recycling in the same area that I was working on the Monday route. So he would contact him and see if he could uh, help me take off a little bit of a load. Fortunately, he was. So, you know, there was that. Um, so, yeah. That's pretty much a lot of the stuff that happened during the Monday routes. I don't exactly remember, like, everything that happened on every freaking Monday. But that's probably the big stories that really ever occurred um, on the Monday routes. So, you know, it was a very, very bad situation that I put, um, put my guy in. But, you know, he kind of put it on himself. So, you know, at the end of the day, I, I still feel really bad that I had to freaking report him and I ended up getting him fired. So, you know, it's, it's a shame. So, you know, I feel, I, I really, I feel really, really bad too. So what else was I going to do? I don't, I don't know. So. Anywho, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Tomorrow I'll do the Tuesday route or whatever. If not tomorrow, then Saturday most likely. Anywho, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this, leave me a subscribe, leave me a like and a comment, so on and so forth. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.